Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Shelby and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a drugstore haul slash makeup tutorial. So I'm going to show you what I got at the drugstore and test them out on my face and give you guys a first impression overall, which products I like, which products I didn't like. So if you're interested in that, let's just get right into this. Okay, so the first item that I picked up at the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Eyeshadow Palette. I've never tried any of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes, so I really wanted to test this out, and it just looks really promising. Like, these colors are just speaking to me. They're so pretty. They have a nice mixture of mattes, and then they do have a few shimmers in here, too, as well. So, it's a nice little palette. It's really lightweight. I mean, it's Wet n Wild, so it was cheap. I also picked up a new Maybelline concealer. I actually have this. I was just running out. Some of these products I already have, and I just needed to reset stock on them and then some of them are new so it's like a mixture of both so this is the Maybelline fit me concealer and this is in the shade 15 fair I'm just gonna start off by priming my eyes with this fit me concealer and then I'm going to dip into the palette and I'm actually going to take this matte cream shade right here and I'm gonna use that to set down this concealer just so it's nice and even and we're ready for shadows. I'm taking the e.l.f. bronzing palette and I think I'm gonna dip in to this shade right here just to use this as a transition shade just cause the palette doesn't have that. Like I'm gonna go into this light gray right here and add this in the crease as well. Also, I will be linking below all the brushes that I use in order if you guys are interested. Next, I'm going in with this dark purple right here, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And then I'm taking that first brush we used and dipping back into that bronzing color, because just because I feel like we lost some of the tan color up here, so I just want to bring it back a little bit. And next, I'm going to go into this black right here, and I'm going to take like a smaller, dense brush, and I'm going to apply this on my outer corner. <laughs> We will dip back into this palette later in the tutorial to do the under eyes and then the brow bone highlight and stuff. So I actually do like that palette. I think it has great pigmentation and I think it blends out really nicely for an eyeshadow palette. Um, you can't have your expectations too high for drugstore eyeshadow palettes just because they're really cheap. The price is lower for a reason compared to high-end products. So... Just keep that in mind. I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. It looks like this. They also have an illuminating primer if you have dry skin. It has a matte finish. It's supposed to blur out pores. It's supposed to be smoothing. And it pretty much prepares your face for foundation. So just like a normal primer. It kind of just smells like chemicals. And it's more of like a lotion-y consistency. So see if it actually like mattifies so my face definitely does look more matte and it feels actually really smooth so wow I'm actually pretty impressed it looks really matte and it's smooth so pretty much what it was supposed to do so for my foundation I just picked up a different shade of this foundation this is the wet n wild photo focus I absolutely love this foundation but I definitely needed a lighter shade so that's why I haven't used it in a while I picked up the shade rose ivory <laughs> this is actually too light for me so I might mix in a little bit of my darker shades that I have I'm definitely gonna have to exchange this because this is like white all right I look like a raccoon oh my goodness I look like I could be in a haunted house right now so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of buff bisque <gasps> look at that shade difference <laughs> This looks more like my skin tone. We're looking a little crazy just because the eyes are so dark right now, but it'll definitely look better as we apply more <laughs> 
products onto my face. So I'm going to go in with that same concealer that I used to prep my eyes. This is, again, the Maybelline Fit Me and Fair 15. To set my face, I picked up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. Looks like this. It's a really white consistency, so I'm hoping that this doesn't have flashback. And it sets the makeup really nicely because... I need this makeup to look good. <laughs> this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil. So the packaging looks like this. I think this packaging is actually really cute. Um, I got the shade Rich Brown. I hope this is my shade. They, I think they had like soft brown and rich brown and like that's it. So I was like, well guess I'm going with rich brown. It looks really promising and it does have a spoolie so I was really excited to see that. So it just reminds me of like the NYX brow pencil or like the Anastasia brow whiz. <laughs> So the brows are complete. I think I do like that pencil. It's just a little different and it's a little, um, I don't know, not what I'm used to, I guess. I really like the spoolie. The spoolie works really well, but the product comes out really, um, opaque, I guess. So I think I just need to go in with a lighter hand because the brows are looking real thick today, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, I'll probably just have to fool around with it a little more. So now I'm going to dust all this powder off, see if it looks good. So I do not like that powder at all. I hate when translucent powders lift up my concealer from underneath my eyes and then my freckles poke through. I did all this work to get this full coverage all over my face and then I sat underneath my eyes and I dusted away and it's like half the product that I just applied is gone. I don't have a new bronzer or blush so I'm just going to be using like my old ones or like my regular ones that I already had in my collection. So I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. bronzing palette, just because this is like an all drugstore look. And I'm just going to be swirling this shade, this top right, and then this bottom left. my blush today I don't have a new one either so I'm just going in with the wet n wild um, blush in mellow wine and then for my highlighter I picked up the wet n wild highlighting gold bar this intrigued me so much I actually love wet n wilds highlighters I have I think three shades and I love the formula and I just they're just such good highlighters for the price. So this is what this looks like. It's just like completely gold and then it has like a little bit of pink right here. Nothing is sticking to my skin and you know what I think it is? This stupid translucent powder. I don't know why nothing is like sticking to like my cheekbones, like you can't even see the highlighter. I've been applying so much of this onto my cheekbones, like layer after layer, and it's not showing up. I just dipped into the gold bar one and sprayed my brush to see if it'll come out a little better. So we finally have some highlight on after like 40 different layers. I'm going to go into the shade right here and I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line. I'm just going to dip into this purple really quickly and focus this really closely to the lash line. I did not get like a new black liner, so we're just gonna have to deal with the empty waterline. We'll just deal. So now I'm just gonna go in with that Maybelline Big Shot mascara and just coat my lashes. Mascara is on. I love that mascara. I feel like it makes my lashes look so just voluminous, pretty, spread out. 
which is very long too. So I just have one product left that I picked up and this is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. This is just like a liquid lipstick from CoverGirl and it's this really deep plum purple. Man, we're looking smoky today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is the lipstick. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like that lipstick at all. Because first of all, the applicator is so tiny and barely has any product on it. So when you're trying to like create a nice clean line around your lips and like fill your lips in, I think I dipped into this probably like 20 times. So that was not fun. It transfers really easily, like I literally put my lips together for one second and it transferred and then it came off my bottom lip so I had to keep reapplying and it was just a hot mess. So the last thing to do is just to apply one of these shimmer shades in the inner corner and on our brow bone. So I'm just taking like a little pencil brush and I think I'm going to dip into the shade right here. This is like the lightest color shimmer in the palette. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. I'm looking very smoky, very vampy, very dark looking, um, but I really like it. I like how this makeup look turned out overall. The products that I really just don't like at all are the translucent setting powder, the lipstick, and I think that's pretty much it. I really liked everything else. I told you guys that I really need to test out this highlighter a little more just like with my regular makeup routine to see if it's really a different formula or not compared to their other ones. But that's pretty much it. I really like everything else. The mascara, the eyebrow pencil, I really like. I think my brows look really good. The foundation I just need to exchange for a different shade, but that's about it. I do love this foundation. The primer looks really good. I look really matte right now, so I'm really impressed with this. And I really like this eyeshadow palette. I feel like the colors are very vibrant. They're easy to blend. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul makeup tutorial. I haven't done one of these in forever, and I enjoy doing this so much. I love trying new makeup, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join my S squad and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves!